So this guy managed to make the whole world call him the father of the internet, the inventor of the fastest computer, claiming that he got a Nobel Prize. And much more, he made the president of the US, Bill Clinton, call him one of the great minds of the information age is a Nigerian named Philip Emigwale. So here is Philip Emeguela. Born in Nigeria, he managed deceiving the whole world for a very long time, and especially the black community in Africa or outside of Africa, that he is a genius and he invented the fastest computer and contributed to the creation of the internet. But how did he do it exactly? First of all, he was born in 1944 in Nigeria, and after not being able to study because of the civil war, which was in Nigeria at that time, he had to leave school. After some self studies, he got a scholarship, which took him to have first a bachelor in math, then a master's in ocean and marine engineering, then a second master's in math again. He studies for PhD in 1987 at the University of Michigan, but his thesis was not accepted. Now, how did he become intelligent and the whole story of inventions come? In exactly 1989, he won the prize of Gordon Bell Prize, which if I can explain in simple words, he applied supercomputers for oil reservoir modeling. That's made him get this prize, which now was the beginning of all the big lies which came later. So after the media praising him and saying that his invention can be related to the use of super fast computers on the internet, he added more spices to this story which even made that when the president Bill Clinton was in Nigeria in 2000 also claimed him to be one of the most intelligent people of Nigeria. And the media had to go along with that without even having more proofs. But the confusion started rising more and more until even black people and big scholars like the professor Bolaji Ajuko who did it with other Africans and Nigerians to go and do studies independently to know if he really did all those things. It came out that he was fake. He never won any Nobel Prize. He was never a doctor or a professor. He never owned any patent for his inventions and he never contributed anything big on the internet. And until today, some of the people still believe and still call him to be the father of the internet or the guy who invented super fast computers. At least there are millions of proofs out there which shows that this guy never did any of all those things until he disappeared when it started to be known by most people outside but at least for a short time he managed to lie to the whole world and to the big medias until to the president of the united states that he is a very intelligent person and a genius and even if he did good things the lies which he did later on destroyed it which is not something which is against the black community and i think black people deserve to be inspired by people who are more genuine and who really work hard because there's so many of them out there instead of being inspired by some people who are fake and were just running after being a celebrity thanks so much for being here catch you next time hey my name is bertin and i'm sharing a hundred real stories about events which happened in africa and if you want to know more about them follow or subscribe